Welcome back to Power BI Helpline. Today, we are going to talk about how to convert an image to a real-time Power BI dynamic visual. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified. With that, let's check it out. I have created here an attendance marking visual where I can directly insert values from the front and the visual will show the results in real time. If marked present, it shows in green and for absent, it shows red. Tooltip will show all the values. So, I am into a new Power BI file, and we will use this image as the reference. First of all, I need to create a table in my SQL Server because I am going to use a direct query connection. I will create this table with column names, seat number, name, and the status. I have also marked seat number column as primary key, which is very important for this solution. Save this table as students, and I will insert one value from here and remaining values we will enter using our app after converting our image to a dynamic visual. All right, let us use the query editor to insert a row into our table. And for example, I have inserted here name as John for seat number one with status one or present. Let's first connect this table from our new Power BI desktop file. This SQL server is installed in my local machine. So I will use server name local, database name PBI helpline, and connection mode as direct query. I will select student's table, which is only one record as of now. Next is to import Synoptic Panel Custom Visual. Synoptic Panel by OKViz is a Power BI certified custom visual, which can be used to show any images as visuals. If you want to learn more about PBI certified visuals, you can click on the link and you will see all the information about that. Let's add this visual and move on to the next step. So, I have added this visual. There are already few images in the gallery of this visual, but since we are going to convert a custom image, we can define the boundary of my seats using the companion website called Synoptic.design. Synoptic Designer is the companion tool of Synoptic Panel, a certified custom visual for Microsoft Power BI. Here I will import my PNG image and can start defining the areas, which I want to make as dynamic objects in my Power BI report. I can select the four corners of my seats, and the selected rectangular area can be marked as area one, same way I need to do for all the required areas. And later you need to export this for Power BI as SVG image. If objects are small, you can zoom this space and select accordingly. As said, export to Power BI and save as SVG image. I have already marked all the seats to save the time, and we are going to use this image in our solutions. From our synoptic panel visual, click on local map, and select this SVG image. At present, we have only one seat filled, which we enter directly into the database using insert command. And if I select seat number, I can see that my seat number one is showing filled with green color. Next is to create a power app to interact with this visual and enter the attendance in real time using direct query and automatic page refresh. To create this, we can either add power app visual or create it from its website. There are already few apps available. I can click on this option which has a three-page application already created. Since my data source is SQL Server, I will select SQL, choose the authentication type, which is in my case, Windows. I will enter SQL Server name, database name, and my credentials. You will also be required to install a gateway if your data source is on-premise. I have already installed and configured my gateway because I had a local SQL Server database. If you need to configure this, Click on this option to do that. Once you hit this create button, this will prompt to select the database tables to select. And then it will automatically create my required application based on this table. If you want to create any custom application, you can use this space to create your own Power App application, which later you can use in Power BI. This default application is fine for my requirement, and I will use this in my Power App visual. Save this app with any name, and then go back again to Power BI Desktop. You can see Power App Visual in this default visuals list and can be used in Power BI reports. As said, from here also you have option to create or select already created application and I will choose my student application and then we can see the application is visible in my report. Now I am going to apply a very important functionality which should be used very carefully. I am going to use an automatic page refresh for every second. There is option to choose the time or to select the change detection, 
so that it will refresh only when there is a change in the source. As said, I am selecting here one second, and let's test our visual. Click on this plus button and enter seat number 2, named Jack, and status 1, and let's see how it looks. Now, if I click on OK, I will be able to see my seat number 2 is filled, and on hover over I can also see the details. But as of now, I have not set the status color. Here for status, I have used 1 and 0, and if I need to map this to present or absent, I can use a dimension table. So let's create this mapping table. Create this two column table, column 1 has status, and column 2 has status code 1 or 0. From the data model view, create one to many relationships between my student's table and this dimension table. Using this, I will create a donut chart visual in my report, which will show the number of presents and absents. For status color formatting, I can use my status column as state's measure, and then I can define the states, which red color for zero and green color for status one. Let's apply these formatting. I have also entered one more record for seat number 3 with status as 0 which means absent. This solution is now ready to use and you can test it by entering or updating records which will be immediately shown in the visual. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and post your feedbacks and suggestions in comment box.